Look, look over there. That's him at the waterfall. So this is Yohei's brother. Whoa, he's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. Hey, listen, he's talking to himself. <clears throat> Woo! <-hoo -hoo. laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? Uh. Can you feel the feeling of manliness? Found your own school. Ha! So shallow. How can a manly man aspire to something so lame? Uh, please spare me. Spare me. I, I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. I... I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. Yohei... Yohei... Save me! Save me! Did you hear that? All the nonsense aside, he's going for help! Huh? Who... Who goes there? He stood up! And now he's coming this way! No, don't come any closer. Help! What do we do? Miko, think of something! Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... Well, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yohei, I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. Uh, um, um... Uh, uh, um, your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? But, uh, I... As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. It's futile trying to escape. Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. Ah! All right, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. After my brother wished to become a swordmaster, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills, but his whole personality changed, too. Because... I was worried that if he goes back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. So then, why'd you go to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Well, cause with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult arts or something, and then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but 
let him keep his sword skills? My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right, you're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. All right, then. Your turn now, my little friend. Toss the salt, and then draw your sword. It's the spirit! See that? That's what you summoned. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. <laughs> Save me! Save me! Uh, Miko! He fainted! What do we do now? We do nothing. But you, little one. Just a quick fight and this will all be over. <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. Come on, fight me! He's coming! Be careful! Shine down! Hold the line! My apologies! <laughs> that was great! Excellent! Woo! What a rush! I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He disappeared! But he looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? Ah, we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you alright? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now, but then I realized I couldn't control my own body, and there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. I was terrified, and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't, and the voice kept talking about manliness. Shingo, we shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit, and it possessed you. Yes. And had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue, too. Thank you, Lady Gucci, and thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember, this is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. Would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Oh, they would have been fine. I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? 
You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Ah! Paimon's got it! It was an Oni! Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Shingo to become bolder. Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then, you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Whew. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. Alright, seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book? Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point! The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff! And loads of people are trying it! <sighs> Even then, humans only have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? Yeah, Yue and Shingo may have been fine in the end, but things got pretty scary when Shingo was possessed. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. Kuroda? What are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? Yes. Overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking. We're being beaten in all categories. One book is topping the charts. It's called... A first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Both of you, back here now! Miko? What is it? You have a really scary look on your face right now. <sighs> Things just got serious. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work, and now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counter plan, and you are going to help me. Huh? How is this our problem all of a sudden? Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Wait, what, uh, what just happened? Uh, uh, again, you technically have a point, but this feels all wrong! Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on, we're going to war. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. <laughs> 